Hi everyone, welcome along to the 22nd of December. This is my Flossmas, we are drawing towards the end, two more days to go. Um, today has happened, that was marvellous. <laughs> We've got one more day at school tomorrow, one more day. So it's all the fun things like the Christmas quiz, um, we had Christmas dinner today, that was really good. Um, the canteen did pigs in blankets. Well, should I say they did pigs? There were sausages, but there was no bacon wrapped around them, which I was a little shocked at. Um, so yeah, Christmas quiz tomorrow, form party, all of that sort of sort of stuff, and then we'll be done. We'll be done, and it'll be two weeks worth of calm, stitching, beautiful. <laughs> right, let's see where we are on the house for captured children. Number 22, we've got another big one here. Oh, one of them's trying to escape. Oh no, it's not a balcony, it's a bed. I thought it was a balcony. I thought she was off out over the balcony. There we go. It helps if you move your finger, Michelle. Can you see she's there? She's got a dolly on the end of her bed, which looks like it's got something. Oh, it might be a stocking. Oh, okay. I thought she was, I thought she was out and over the balcony then. In the house for captured children. Maybe that's what she is doing. We'll see. But it looks like she's got a matching dolly to her. They look very similar. Well done her. I'd like a matching dolly. But they don't do many grey haired dollies of women of a certain age. <laughs> right. Oh, deary me. Okay, so I have got a couple of past finishes to show you. Um, the first one is... The second one is on the floor. The first one is a bit of a, not a failure, but things didn't quite go as I'd expected. So this is a Plum Street Samplers. It's one of the spring salt boxes. And I absolutely love the spring salt boxes. And I had planned to stitch them all on this fabric, which is 32 cow, picture this plus heroic. And it's the one that's got the bits of blues and purples in it. But, I, I struggle with picture this plus I have to say in the fact that 32 count I find too tight for two strands it, I find it's really close weave 28 count I really like with two strands 36 count I really like with one strand um, but it's it's almost a little bit different to other to other cloth really and so this was a 32 count and I started out with two strands and I just really wasn't loving it at all so I literally finished the first one I haven't even done the white around the edge because they're made to look a little bit like um, Polaroid pictures. Um, yeah, I just finished it off and I'm just going to pop it in a little frame or make it into a little dough cushion. Dough cushion? Dough bowl cushion. Uh, not a dough ball cushion, as I had said the other day. So, it's in all the cord for colours. I've still got the project kitted up with all the threads, or certainly the threads for the first one. And I do still want to do it, and I do still want them all on one piece, but not on this fabric. And the second one that I stitched is called Count Twice, Stitch Once, which is slightly ironic, because there's quite a lot of errors in it. Um, it is this one here, and I'm pretty sure I changed the colours. It's stitched on a piece of either 28 count or 32 count. And the reason that the numbers look a little bit odd is because I want to make it into a drum. So if I just take that needle out and put it a bit better, once it's made into a drum, the 2022, she says, oh, ah, the 2022, will sit right on the back there we go 2022 will sit right on the back so that's why it looks odd on the front it's so that it will be right on a drum um and i want to say this is plum street samplers as well but i'm not 100 percent. so if it's not i'll put the name across the bottom um but yeah i just chose my I chose my own colors and I've got a fabric picked out for the top and the bottom of that one already. Let's have a little look and see what we've got in here. 
day 22. Avida Botanical Repair Intensive Strengthening Mask. What's that for then? What do I need strengthening? Oh, it's a hair mask. There we go. I wasn't quite sure because I've had Avida um, moisturising products before and I've had Avida hair products, but this is a light hair mask. Does it say that on the front? Am I just not reading it right? No. There we go. So we'll have a go with that one and see how we get on. A little bit of updated news. A lot of you have seen already that this chart is now available on the Patchwork Rabbit. It's either a PDF or you can have it printed and they will post it out to you, whichever you would prefer. You get both versions of the chart, the ones with the crowns and the ones with the angels. So if you would like it, Patchwork Rabbit is the only place where you can get it from. It won't be going on my Etsy store. So just an update there. Freebie. I've forgotten to pick up the freebie. Two seconds. Well, it wasn't there at all. It seems like it's given up printing totally now. So uh, we're not even getting like a dodgy shade of green out of the printer. So this is by Melissa from Pinko and Pumpkin Blogspot. Um, and it is a very cute, I'll put a picture of it up here. It is a very cute snowman in a uh, one of those flyer, um, what do they call them, like trolleys, carts, things like that. Um, and Karen sent me this this morning just to have a look at. Now she's been sending me lots and lots of freebies all the way through the month. Um, so thank you very much, Karen. I have picked out a few of them. Some of them lots of people have suggested. Some of them um, I haven't got to yet and I will keep those in my back pocket. Right. I want to talk planners and planning just for a minute. You know that I have got the 2023 Needlework Press Book of Days. Now you will be very familiar with this Book of Days. Now the reason that I'm thinking about planners is because my planning and my recording, should I say, not so much planning actually, but it is more recording, kind of fell off the wagon about March time. I had something that was working and it just kind of fell by the wayside. And so I thought I'll, I'll try something else this year because it's been really hard actually to put together these series of Flossmases because I haven't got written down all the things that I finished. I've had to rack my brains and look back through my photos from this year to try and see what it is I've actually finished. Um, and to couple that, I've not been brilliant on Instagram with my finishes either. So it's been a little bit uh, more taxing. So I want to do better with my planning and my recording. So I picked up this, which is going to be great for just recording daily stitching. Plus, I like all the um, stickers and things like that. So I'm really looking forward to using that. I also, last night, downloaded Teresa Little Stitcher's um, Excel spreadsheet, which looks absolutely fabulous. It looks very similar to what I had done for myself which was working the previous few years. Now, mine was nowhere near as good as Teresa's, but basically you can load in all your whips and there's space for a hundred whips and I'm gonna put in all my whips. So um, very soon I will be able to tell you how many whips I do have. And then each month you're able to pick the whips from that list that you've worked on and record when you've worked on them. And then there's also at the end of it, a yearly kind of summary and it will show you all the whips that you've worked on and how many days you've worked on them for. There's a really good video that explains it and you can download it straight from her website, it's free. So I'll put the details down below, but I'm really, really excited to give that a go. And I also quite like the whole kind of journaling aspect of it as well and writing a little bit more. So I picked up one of these from Amazon. It's called the Stitching Journal or Stitching Journal and it's by a company called Stitching Cabin. Now they do a lot of PDFs so you can get most of this as a PDF download but I decided that I wanted to get a hardback version and Amazon actually print this for the Stitching Cabin. Um, so let me show you what it's got in it. It's an undated journal, so you can start it whenever you want. Okay, it starts off with an achievement log, and you've got 
January there, but it doesn't mean you have to start there. You could just use it for a full 12 months. You could start in June if you wanted to. So you've got an accomplishment log, new starts, finishes, yearly stitching goals, so somewhere where you can actually set out all your goals, monthly goals, so really think about what you want to try and achieve. I need to do that more. I need to try and think clearly about what it is I really want to try and do that month and then stick to it. That's the bit that I find more difficult because um, I'll think about things and then my brain flips and it's the last thing I want to work on. So I've got to try and yeah, be a little bit more, <laughs> a little bit more kind of definite about what I want to do because I've got so many really lovely antique samplers I really want to bring them to you and I really need to just focus. <laughs> You've got undated monthly planners for the whole year and they've all got these sort of cute little drawings on the bottom as well. So you've got all of the months and then what I really like is each month has got its own kind of notes section and you've got a couple of pages for each and then a whip tracker. Then you've got February, <coughs> a couple of good pages and then the whip section. So all the way through the different months all the way through to December and then <coughs> excuse me you've got progress tracker for various different percentages of charts so this is really good if you're maybe full coverage or if you track your work on pattern keeper that's going to help you there you've got space to track all of those and then at the back you've got a wish list and a section of things that are waiting in the wings pick me pick me so charts that you really really want to be able to stitch and you've got a space there for you to tick whether you've got the chart the fabric the floss so as, soon, as you collect things up then you can keep those in your mind's eye. Expense tracker. <laughs> would not bother with that. Not enough columns on that. <laughs> and then a reading list of things that you might be interested in reading. So I really like that as well as this. Because as much as I like this book and I really see myself using it on a sort of daily basis, there's not a lot of room to add in additional journaling on top of that. You can always add pages into it, but there's not a lot of extra note spaces and things like that. So using those together and my um, tracker that I'm gonna keep on my phone, because I tend to find that if it's not on my phone, if it's not right there for me to use, and that's the one thing that I do always seem to have right by me, as we all do these days, is my phone, um, then I might forget, might forget to do it. So yeah, that's the plan. I talk a good plan. We'll see what happens. I talk a great plan. Okay, I've done past stitching. I've done freebies. I've waffled a bit. I've opened an advent calendar. So it must be time for the Patrick Rabbit advent calendar. Day 22. And let's see what we've got in here. Sorry, I thought I could just about see through the fab the envelope then to see what was inside. And I was like, just open it. Ooh, interesting. We've not had anything like that before. Let's pop that there. So these are Advent Vintage Trim Collection for Patchwork Rabbit from the Cauldron. Oh, so crinkle ribbon. I like Dames of the Needle. It says on the bottom there. So let's have a look and see what colourways we've got. Whoops. 
so you've got like a, a purpley colour. Does it say what they are? Bogart's Violet. Now is that Bogart as in Humphrey Bogart? Or Bogart, oh, or Boggart as in from Harry Potter? Not sure. Uh, Cut Watercress is the green one. And then the last one is French Ivory. So they will be lovely, particularly for sort of a spring project. I think they could be really nice for a spring project. Looking forward to using those. I'll see you tomorrow, Stitchers. Stay classy.